The contract signed in the office of the Education Minister will be for a duration of nine months and will be executed at a cost of 3.5 million East Caribbean dollars under the Education Quality Improvement Project EQUIP. The current building housing the Southern Division of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College will, as a result, be renovated and will receive an extension to the existing structure. The Southern Extension of the SALCC caters to students residing in the island south, desirous of pursuing tertiary studies with the college. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward says the construction work is aimed at making the existing building more resilient to create a more conducive environment for learning and increased capacity of the college to offer more programs to citizens in the south of the island. But we are now realizing that given the demands for enrollment at the South Always Community College, particularly in the south, the need has a reason for us to expand the existing um, facility down there um, with a view to having greater intake and to also provide a more comfortable learning environment than what obtains at the moment. The minister expressed his thanks to the Caribbean Development Bank for funding this project under the Education Quality Improvement Project EQUIP. He also expressed satisfaction of the tendering process as well as his confidence in the contractor who has been awarded the project. The contractor is not new to the government of St. Lucia. Um, Obi Sadu is, is well known to a number of government agencies having worked with, with us in the area of healthcare, road infrastructure, just name it. And I have every confidence that when <coughs> we take a tour of Viewfort where we examine very closely um, the finished product, in relation to the expansion of the South Louis Community College facility, um, that this would be another moment of vindication for a company, as I said, which has more or less distinguished itself um, on the local market. The upgraded facility will also be fitted with external area drainage, wheelchair and pedestrian access, and a rainwater harvesting system. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, Michelle Charles, also expressed her confidence in the contractor's ability to deliver. It will be sad who is no stranger to education, having worked on the Chouzelle Secondary School and the Denry Infant School, so we're quite familiar with the quality of work. And so the expectation, the bar has been raised very high by himself, so we don't expect it to be any different, you know, moving into this sort of extension. The just concluded signing of works to the southern extension of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College is the final major infrastructural component under the EQUIP project with funding from the Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB. The EQUIP team has also been responsible for the reconstruction of the Laguerre Primary School and the construction of new wings at the Gordon and Walcott Methodist and the Vidbutai Primary Schools. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.